Butte, Montana. More raw energy in that town than any four towns have ever been in. It used to be the biggest town between Chicago and, and Seattle. The, they, had, they called it the hill out there, the, the, the richest hill on earth. Nobody knows how many billions of dollars Marcus Daly and other prominent criminals hauled out of that mountain at the expense of the people who worked underground. Yeah, in those days, long time ago, you had to have a rustling card. That meant you applied for a job in the mines, and you had to wait for a while while they wired all over the territory to make sure that you hadn't belonged to any labor organizations. And they would, then they would give you your rustling card. That meant that you could, you could rustle the hill. And there was a very fine mining poet that lived up there, well known around Butte, but I, I hardly heard of any place else, by the name of Dublin Dan Liston. Well, my friend, fellow worker Mark Ross, up in Butte, Montana, has learned some of those poems. Mark, Mark is the finest tramp I ever met in my life. I mean, this is a consummate tramp. Mark Ross lived in Missoula, Montana, and he mer moved down to Butte when he heard there wasn't any work there. Let's listen to... Mark Ross, do Dublin Dan Liston's The Situation in Butte. Streets now must be used for walking, not for purposes of talking. So read Henderson's instructions from the hill. With the help of Matthew Canning, John D. Ryan now is planning constitutional right of free speech here to kill. Old-time miners are blacklisted. Men who openly resisted slave conditions made by Ryan in this town Leaders of the rebel faction who believe in direct action. Socialists who join the local all turned down. Creedon early put the ban on fellow worker Joseph Shannon. In Colorado, he can't get a job. When the mine workers would meet, Joe would always be on his feet, and his words were known to influence the mob. The trades and labor bunch have all have got a hunch. Not to help the mass of rebels unemployed. Cause Con Kelly took a stand in deciding where they'll stand. If his orders ain't obeyed, he'll be annoyed. If those so-called union men, tools of Kelly's ACM, have declared to help the miners, they're not able. Twit infringe upon the laws to investigate the cause, so the motion has been laid upon the table. An injury to one is an injury to all. You yourselves may be the next to be turned down. So you'd better get together... For believe me, stormy weather is forecast for all the unions in this town. With your great AF of L, you have served the purpose well of the boss who always dictates all your action. You'll keep on fighting one another, scabbing on your union brothers, till the one big union will unite your factions. Dublin Dan Liston, recited by Mark Ross. 